Hey! How are you? I'm so glad you can make it. I'm doing great. Come on inside. The others will be arriving soon enough. It is big, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think about it much. Then again, I do live here. All right. Panther went out to go get some stuff, so he'll be here later. And of course, seeing as you're now part of the friend group, you also need an animal name. I was thinking maybe Panda? I knew you'd like it. I'm so glad we can all get together for May 18th. I know we've already had the big party and everything, but it's nice to have a smaller group to celebrate with. Oh right, I also made flower counts for everyone. I thought it could be a fun friendship thing. Everyone has a specific color as well. Seeing as you're new and the others don't know you yet, I made yours with all the colors. We tend to do the colors based on what everyone thinks. I really hope everyone else likes theirs too. I got the flowers from the garden and if people would like, we can always make more. I'd happily teach everyone how to make them. Yeah, I almost forgot I taught you how to make them too. <laughs> then again, I forget a lot of things, don't I? Speaking of me forgetting things, I almost forgot to mention that if you ever need to get away from the group, you can head up to my room. It's up the stairs, turn left down the corridor, and it's the last door on the right. It has my name on it, so it should hopefully be obvious. But if you'd rather somewhere else, the room right next to it is both a library and a study. So you could read, or maybe even play some games on the computer if you would like. Of course! Don't want anyone feeling uncomfortable. If you need anything else, just tell me and I can help you out. Oh, and I totally understand if the others get a bit too much. Again, just say or give me some sort of signal and I'll calm everything down. Oh, that must be the others. If you'd prefer to meet them one by one, you can wait here and I can let them in slowly, or we can just meet them all at the same time. Yep, come on then, let's go meet the others. Hey guys, how are you all? Come on in. Hi B, it's nice to see you again. I've been good. And what about you? I'm alright. How about you two? Uh, fairly normal, I suppose. Nothing unusual for me. I'm glad you guys have been doing alright. Now I must introduce you all to Panda. Panda? Is that the person you said would be joining us? Yep. Come on. Oh, hello. It's nice to finally meet you. B has said a lot. I'm Bunny. Oh, it's always fun to have more company. And what exactly do you do, Panda? How about we give them some breathing room, Weasel? We don't want them suffocating, now do we? <laughs> His name is Fox, by the way. Right then, how about we do something fun while we wait for the others? All right, in total there are ten of us, but my brother... Panther will be here later. I think he said he needed to pick something up. And seeing as five of us are already here, we're just waiting for the other four. And of course, my brother, who, as I just said, will be here later. Well, let's hope the others arrive soon. In the meantime, how about we get to know each other a bit better? After all, the only person you've met before is Bee and Panther. Fun is an understatement. You never know what could happen when we all get together. Especially with you two. What's that supposed to mean? You do pull quite a few pranks, Fox. <laughs> At least it gets all of us laughing, though. That is true, but how about we get back on topic? <laughs> Shall we start with the basics? 
I'll go get that. You guys keep talking. I suppose you'll be meeting either four more people or two very soon. I think it's Badger and Cat. Just listen to their footsteps. You memorized everyone's footsteps? Cat and Badger are here. Told you. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I see we've been joined by a new person. It's nice to meet you. The name's Cat. And I am Badger. Nice to meet you. And before I start anything, do you prefer cats or dogs? <laughs> Don't worry. I won't be offended if you choose dogs. Speaking of, I see a wolf isn't here yet. I presume he'll be arriving with Mouse. Neither of them are here yet. It doesn't mean we can't start having some fun, though. Exactly! Oh, I just realized I forgot everyone's flower crowns. I gave Panda theirs when they came in, but I forgot to give you all your ones. Give me one moment. Flower crowns? I'm not sure that would suit me. Doesn't matter if it does or doesn't suit you. We made them for us, so we will all wear them. Here we go. Everyone take your flower crown. I'll give Mouse and Wolf theirs when they arrive. Speaking of... Seems like things are going to get wild pretty quickly. <laughs> things are always wild when all of us are in the same room. Don't you remember when we all did that escape room? That was fun! And very chaotic with all of your pranks. You said it was all Fox. I knew it! You set up the one with the door, didn't you? Here comes Detective Badger again. More often than not, yes. I'm probably the most normal out of the group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there, sir. You are in no way more normal than the rest of us. You've had your fair share of pranks. Not to mention it's almost like you're stuck as some sort of gentleman character. If anyone is normal, it's B. We all know that. She seems to be able to cope with all of us and still be calm and collected. She somehow always manages to be able to contain us. She does seem to be able to persuade all of us fairly easily. But then again, she's just one of those people. Someone who's easy to talk to and trust. Even though she is the youngest of us all and still acts like a little kid most of the time, she is probably the most sensible one here. Wolf and Mouse are here! Hello. Hi everyone. Seems like we're last to the party. I take it you must be Panda. I'm Wolf. This is Mouse. Seeing as we're all here now, should we start with the first activity? <laughs> Might as well start the chaos, right? What is the first activity? Cookie decorating! This will definitely be chaotic. <laughs> Hopefully none of them are poisoned. I seriously doubt that. Relax, cat. It's a joke. <laughs> right, of course. Although... What are you looking at me for? I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> Come on, let's head to the kitchen. Everyone follow me. So how this is going to work is we have a station for all of us each with nine cookies in the shape of our animal and with our colors. We will all start at our station and we will have five minutes to decorate the cookie. Then we will all swap stations. We will all go to the station on our left and do a cookie that hasn't been decorated with the colors and animal cookie at that station. Does that make sense to everyone? Great, but before we do anything, who wants water? I can help get water. I can too. Should we just get cups for everyone? Might as well. We'll probably all want water at some point. You got it. Everyone can have their cup as well then. Speaking of water, when did it start raining? Uh, some point after uh, Wolf and I arrived. I think that was obvious. Does anyone else not have water yet? 
I don't think so. <laughs> did, did the power just go out? Yep, don't worry, it will be back in a sec. It's just a storm. See? Anyway, back to the question. Does everyone have water? Yes, everyone has a cup. Shall we get started then? Yes. Do you have a timer? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, I just got really dizzy. <laughs> Are you alright, B? Um, I think so. <laughs> you sure, B? I think maybe you should oh, sit down. I can thought. <laughs> maybe I'm <laughs> not so <laughs> good. Was there something in your cup? B, sit down. This shouldn't happen after having water. I can't... <laughs> breathe. B? 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 What's happening? Is B okay? Why did she just fall down like that? Poison. What? You heard me. B's cup was poisoned. She's dead. What? No, there's no way she's dead. Bunny. She doesn't have a heartbeat, does she? She... she's not dead, right? It's just a trick. A cruel prank. One of you definitely set this up. None of us set this one up. Why would we? Well then who did it? Who poisoned B? B isn't dead. She is funny. You can't deny it. She's right in front of you. No. Not B. It will be okay, Mouse. It will all be okay. <laughs> How is it going to be okay, Wolf? Well, <laughs> B is gone. She's gone. Okay, we all need to calm down. Yes, calm. We need to be... calm? Who poisoned B? Well, it wasn't me. Let's not start the accusation game. We need to think about this logically. Exactly. The killer was either Cat or Bunny. What? <laughs> you think I would kill B? You and Cat were helping distribute the water, although the power did cut out for a few seconds. That means it could have been anyone. Well done. You didn't do anything. How do we know it wasn't you, Badger? Accusing people first, trying to make it so you aren't a suspect. Yet you aren't defending yourself exactly, are you? Only accusing me. You're doing the same thing, Badger. Accusing and not defending. <sighs> Shut up. All of you. We aren't going to get anywhere like this. Wolf is right. Yeah, well, you do what you want. I'm going to get my bag because it has everything I need to know exactly who the murderer is. And how exactly is it that you have just the right stuff for this specific event? The only way you would know if someone was going to die is if you planned their murder. I didn't. However, you all know I'm very into my murder mystery books, and I happen to keep this stuff with me all the time. So, if you don't mind, I will be starting my investigation. Great. Look, we need to not split up. For all we know, whoever poisoned B might want to kill more of us. You mean to tell me that we could all die? That's exactly what he means. Hey, I don't trust the others, but I know you only knew B, and have no reason to kill her. So do you mind following Badger? He's smart enough to not kill you if he's the killer, but I think it's safer you go than I do. Like I'm trusting you, he might as well. Find out what you can, all right? I see you followed me out here. Any reason why? You're right, it is obvious. 
though I doubt you're the killer, and even if you were, or for that matter if I was, we both know it would be a dumb idea to kill the other now. After all, we're the only two who aren't with the group at this card moment, and there's only one door out of the kitchen. You don't think it's me? That is very true. I suppose I might as well share my thoughts with you. You don't know the group very well, so I'll give you a quick rundown on everyone. Wolf is the protective one of the group, kind of like the team leader. Since B's gone now, he will most likely take over. Bunny is sweet and kind. She doesn't like to see the bad side of the world. Cat comes off as a gentleman, but is definitely smart. Fox is sly and the most chaotic, sometimes doing more bad than good. Weasel is fairly mysterious. The only one who seemed to know anything about her was B, but even then she still has her secrets. Mouse is quiet. He doesn't talk much, but when he does, it's usually out of concern. Now, while Bunny and Mouse probably seem the most unlikely, we can't say it isn't them for definite. Sometimes it's the most unlikely who do things like this. At the moment, I would say that the most likely is Fox. He always seems to be taking something from B and taking advantage of her kindness. I've seen him try to steal some of my things once or twice. Wolf is powerful. He could easily beat any of us in a fight, and it wouldn't surprise me if he was the killer. Cat I'm not so sure about. He always seems to be on the edge, yet leaning slightly away from everyone. He has his secrets, that's for sure, and I wouldn't trust anyone. Not right now, at least. Not even me. Be careful, Panda. I thought that was obvious. I am the detective. I happen to love murder mysteries, and to be completely honest, I find this thrilling. Of course I'm upset that B has been murdered, but I've always wanted to write my own murder mystery, and this entire thing could give me a great novel. Shame it had to be when we were celebrating B's 18th. I wonder why the killer chose her. While jealousy is an option, I seriously doubt it. It's most likely she found something out about someone that they didn't want her knowing. Although I could be wrong, obviously, there are many possibilities. Isn't this exciting? I wonder what clues we could find as well. However, I must contain my excitement, otherwise I'll be more suspicious. We can't have that now, can we? That will happen with everyone you talk to. We may all seem like friends who just want a fun time on the outside, but on the inside... Well, let's just say our names aren't just for show. Like I said before, you've only met B and Panther before today. Panther might not be back for another hour. Really, you're on your own. Everyone is, but I still recommend going in groups. Preferably three groups of three, but with B gone, it will have to be two groups of three and one group of two. That, or two groups of four, which people won't do as no one trusts each other. Weasel, Fox, and Bunny will likely stay as a group. The three always seem to be with each other. Cat won't trust anyone, so I presume he'd want to be stuck with you as you have the least reason to kill B. Which leaves myself, Mouse, and Wolf. So, Panda... Where do you stand in this little murder mystery? Having a nice chat. It's been lovely. I think Panda here knows everything they need from me. I most certainly have everything I need from them, and they didn't even need to talk for me to get what I wanted. Right. Come on. The others are all in the kitchen wondering what to do and still throwing accusations every so often. You first. Ah, uh, good. You're back. Badger didn't threaten you or anything, did he? I still don't trust him. You don't trust many people. Does that really matter? Yes, it does. I don't trust any of you. Only person I trust at least a little bit would be Panda. 
I doubt they wanted to get into any shenanigans like this on their first day of meeting us all. Yet there is still a possibility. A small one, sure. But not as big a possibility as the rest of you. I'll stick with Fox. Fox. Right. I guess Weasel Bunny and I will look for clues in the entrance. Or something. Yeah. Away from however you murdered B. Let's just all calm down like Panda said. We don't need to accuse anyone of anything when we don't even have any proof. Come on. <sighs> now what? Maybe you should go with Wolf and Badger, Mouse. They're just outside anyway. Right, Panda? <sighs> oh, um... Alright then, I uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Right, seeing as we're finally alone, did you get anything out of Badger? Did he give any reasons? Uh, of course you would say that, let me guess. He was also excited about this. We all know each other enough to be able to guess what each other will do a lot of the time. But in a situation like this, it's mainly a guessing game. Seeing as we're in the kitchen, we may as well look for clues, right? How exactly did you meet B? If you don't mind me asking. So, you met Panther first. Okay. If Panther introduced you to his sister, and that's how the two of you met, then how did you meet Panther? Ah, uh, I see. That does make sense. Same way you met Panther. School event. Yeah. I'm the newest addition to the group. Hello. I suppose now that you're here, you've taken that role. Found anything yet? Hmm. Huh. Alright. How about we try another room? True. Though we will probably find the others. And we can always ask people questions. I suppose we can just wander around until we see or hear something suspicious. I'm not completely sure myself. I suppose something to do with B being poisoned. I know what you did! What are you talking about? Why would I do anything? You know exactly why! Seems like Badger thinks Fox did something. Either that, or he's playing mind games. I will say, I wouldn't be surprised if either of them were the killer. Badger knows too much for this sort of thing. He knows exactly how and when to play his cards. I'm not too sure about Fox, though. I feel like he would slip up too easily, put the poison in the wrong cup, or something. Bunny and Mouse are both too kind to kill anyone. Mouse is quiet and kind, while Bunny is responsible and kind. Both very different, yet also similar. And again, with Mouse being so quiet, you never really know what he could be up to. Wolf is the good protective type. He has that sort of superhero thing about him. Always wanting to save everyone, and generally taking charge if B isn't there. Weasel is a confusing case, though. She's very mysterious. No one ever really knows what she's doing, except Fox, I suppose. Pretty sure she's got a huge crush on him. Yeah. I see her getting jealous of how close Bunny gets with Fox. She always breaks it up. I know for sure she's wanted to beat Bunny up once or twice because of it. Speaking of Weasel... Cat. Panda, 
What are you two doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Left Fox and Bunny, did you? Badger wanted to have a chat with Fox, and I'm not exactly patient. I left Bunny and decided to try and find some clues on my own. Is that a crime now? What if the killer found you alone? Bunny would have killed me already if it was her, and I passed Wolf and Mouse a minute ago. Seems like that doesn't narrow it down at all. Well, it isn't Fox. How do you know that? Because I do. Now shut it. Isn't this a nice little gathering? Mind if I talk with you in private for a moment, Cat? Sure. Just don't kill me. That would be too obvious now, wouldn't it? And where were you two? I just waited for Fox. Didn't really know what else to do after you left me. Why did you leave Bunny? I got bored of waiting around. Fair enough. How did you come across Cat and Panda? We just happened to walk into each other. But it wasn't long before you two decided to join us. Has anything happened with you, Panda? Well, it seems none of us have had any luck. I still think it's Badger. Why Badger? He's going around talking with everyone. If he's been seen with everyone one on one, then it looks like he isn't the killer because he's had so many chances. Plus, whatever research he's doing on us all could be used against us. To frame us or something. I mean... It is possible. Sure, it's possible, but I don't think it's Badger. Well then, who do you think it is? Well, um... Are you seriously looking at me right now? You think I did it? You really think the Fox would do it? Why would you pair up with him then? Well, I wasn't sure, and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't... I mean... I don't really know anything that's going on. What do you expect me to think? My best friend just died. So you accuse me? Fox, I don't mean it like that. It's just... You were a little suspicious before, but I know it isn't you now. I have no clue who it is. I can't believe you thought it was Fox. Guys, please. You have to understand what's going through my head right now. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Let's go, Fox. Guys, wait! What was that about? Uh, I see. Well, I bumped into these two. Badger went to find Weasel. Did he come by here? I think we should stop splitting up. It just makes things more complicated. Agreed. We probably shouldn't split up. Well then, where should we go? We could try the kitchen. Already went there, but we can look again. I really don't want to see Bee's body. I can stay outside the kitchen with you, if you want. What if Panda stays with Mouse? After all, Panda and I already went into the kitchen. Works for me. <laughs> Alright then. Sure. Great. Let's go, then. Which door? This one. Right here. Good eye, Panda. Let's check this room out, then, shall we? Yeah. Come on. Badger! Isn't this the way the others went? Didn't you say that Badger was going to talk to Weasel next? Yeah, I did. Do you think Weasel killed him? She's a mysterious character. It's definitely possible. Can we go? I don't really want to see Badger's body either. I'll wait out here with you, while Wolf and Panda look around the room for any clues. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. Works for me. Poor Badger. I didn't expect him to get stabbed. Although I suppose if he knew who the killer was and confronted them, then it makes sense. 
Seems like our biggest suspect is Weasel now. From what it looks like, I think Badger tried to put up a fight. Tried to get back at whoever the killer was. Again, presuming it's Weasel. She's strong, and Badger is smaller than her, so it's definitely a possibility. Mind you, it seems like a knife broke. And Badger's pocket knife that he showed me earlier isn't here either. Yeah, he did. He either gave it to someone, or Weasel used it against him and kept it. The question is, how many times was he stabbed? There are so many wounds. Yeah, let's go. He's long gone. Find anything? Not really. His pocket knife is gone, though. And now that I think about it, I didn't see his notebook either. So things missing, but nothing new. Great. Uh, who, uh, who did it? I think our safest bet would be Weasel at the moment. After all, Badger went looking for her, right? Seems like we found our killer then. We should go find them before she does anything to Fox or Bunny. Although, I doubt she would hurt Fox. True. Let's go find them before anything else happens. Well then, I suppose we'll have to listen to a little shouting, won't we? They went this way, right? If we keep going, we get to the stairs. Which means we'll get to the balcony? If Weasel pushes Bunny off, she could die. We have to get there now. No, of course not. I don't think that it's Fox anymore. Anymore? That means you did, Bunny. You thought he was the killer. I was scared, okay? I didn't know what to do, or what to think. But why me? Why me, Bunny? Why not Badger? Or even Cat? What about Mouse? Hell, what if you're the killer? Why would I ever kill B? What reason do I have? I don't know, but what reason would I have? You have no reason to blame Fox. Shut it. How about you all stop arguing? Badger is dead. What? Me? Badger? What do you mean, Badger's dead? You're joking, right? He's not joking. The four of us saw him dead. He went looking for Weasel. You killed B? Are you joking? Why would I kill Badger or B? She's been with us the entire time, ever since we left Panda. But then how is Badger dead? I... I still think it might have been Fox. What?! Why do you think it's Fox? He's given you no reason to believe that it's him. But he has. He disappears every so often and just goes completely silent, and then suddenly he's in my face shouting at me because I think it's him. It's like he disappears. I haven't left your side! You've been with both of us this entire time. Well, it doesn't feel like it. I can't believe you! I thought I could trust you! Ah! What have I done? Bunny. Why would you do that? I didn't know the banister would break! Let's just all calm down. It was an accident. Of course it was. This is all my fault. What have I done? Bunny. She's definitely dead. Hey guys. How is everyone? Any of you seen my sister? Panther. What's up? Where's my sister? Also, why is Bunny on the floor? And is Badger not here? 
B. Dead. Are you joking? Come on guys. Get Bunny off the floor. And let's go find B and Badger. And they're... They're gone. Yeah, yeah, sure. They're dead alright. Seriously though, where is B? Fine. You wanna see B? I'll show you where B is. Nice prank, guys. My sister isn't dead. She's just on the floor. You really think I'd believe you guys? Are you an idiot? She's dead! Cat, calm down. Panther, she's dead. You can check her heartbeat. She was poisoned. We found Badger, and he'd been stabbed multiple times, and Bunny was pushed from the balcony and died from the fall. It's an entire murder mystery. She's really dead. Did you say she was poisoned? Who poisoned her? Whatever. Let's go to the others. We still don't know who killed her. Bunny's death was an accident, but Bee and Badger were killed intentionally. Who killed my little sister? That's what we're trying to figure out, idiot! Oi, don't start blaming us for things we never did. Whoever killed my sister is going to die. Which of you did it? Panther, calm down. We need to discuss this properly. Hey, what's that? Damn it. I didn't mean to drop that. That looks like a cassette recorder. The one that Badger always has in his bag. I didn't realize he had it on him. Then again... I suppose he didn't when we came across his dead body. Press play. Why? Why not? Just do it, cat. Fine. Isn't this a nice little gathering? Mind if I talk with you in private for a moment, cat? Sure. Just don't kill me. That would be too obvious now, wouldn't it? Of course it would. Where are we going? I think just in here will do, don't you? Sure. Great. I know what you did, Cat. There's no denying it. If you're implying that I killed B, I didn't. Oh, you can try to play around that all you like, but we both know what you did. You see, you were so focused on the others as B was dying, that you forgot about your little vial, didn't you? Yet, after all the chaos after B dying, you stayed in the kitchen with Panda. Let me guess, you went looking for clues. You're smarter than I took you for. I suppose I haven't read as many murder mysteries as you have. But then again, how would you know the vial is mine? You're not as careful as you think, Cat. Did you forget about our flower crowns? A single petal, a red one, which is your color I might add, was sitting right next to it. One more thing. Where were you standing? Right next to B? You also gave her the cup of water. Or did you forget? Either way, it doesn't matter. Would you rather the easy way? Or the hard way? We both know I won't be going down without a fight, Cat. Who do you take me for? And I suppose you've chosen death! They'll find out one way or another. You can't win, Cat! Except I will, Badger. I already have. Why did you kill B? Why? I thought that would be obvious. B gets all the attention. It's always about B. You killed her out of jealousy? 
not just jealousy. She was always annoying. She got in the way. I wasn't able to do what I wanted because of her. She stopped me from getting to the others. You were going to manipulate the others, weren't you? <laughs> of course I was. If they all respected me like they did B, I could do whatever I wanted. Stop it. What's this button do? Well... Seems everything is out in the open now, isn't it? <laughs> there is no way we're letting you get to Panda after all of this. You'll pay for what you did to my sister! How dare you? How dare you kill my sister after everything she's done for you? Panther, calm down. If you kill him, you'll become the murderer and go to jail. As long as we keep him here and restrained, he can't go anywhere. All he can do is scream. You're gonna pay for what you did, you bastard. No, what? Panther, this is your house. Go find something we can restrain him with. Wolf and I can hold him down. So, what do we do with the bodies now? Nothing. They stay where they are. I mean, I'll, uh, just stay here, I guess. Panda, come with me. Fun day of meeting everyone for the first time, huh? Nah, don't worry about it. I'll be fine, right? I can't believe she's gone. She was always there for me. Why is it that when she needs me the most, I'm not here? I'm sorry, B. I'm so sorry. How? How is it not my fault? If I was here, I could have changed everything. I could have protected her. Let's go get that stupid rope to tie up Cat. She had an impact on all of us. She changed all of our lives. She was always so kind and understanding. It's impossible to forget her. Come on. 
Let's go back to the others. So... Now what? Well... We rebuild, I suppose. Cat can't do anything whilst he's tied up. We can't change the past. It will be hard to get through this without them. But we'll make it. We still have the memories we shared with them. And like B used to say, there's always hope.